What's up, everybody? This is the Chicago Sports Talk Michael back at it with a Chicago Bears video. We're going to be doing the final Chicago Bears mock draft. We're going to have to go through simulator. So this is very important that Ryan Poles gets this right because he really believes Caleb Williams can save the Bears franchise. And he could be that franchise level quarterback than Justin Fields. So, anyways, let's start the draft. Um, I think, in my humble opinion, the Bears should take JJ McCarthy because I think JJ McCarthy is a very talented player, and you know, you know, he he won the national championship. He has like levels to Tom Brady. So. I think we should go get J.J. McCarthy. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with y'all. I had you thinking there for a second. All right, so, damn. J.J., JJ it looks like, uh, hey, man, Patriots fans, do be be thankful that you are you guys are getting somebody that is from Brady, that uh, Brady-level quarterback. All right, so none of the guys that I want here on the board, so I'm going to do the trade-back option which should do with the Saints. And it's a 42% chance they do not accept it, which they do it after the second attempt. They just eventually give it up. So, all right, so Jared Verse and Latu are still on the board. But in my humble opinion, guys, I like Latu a lot. I think he's the best pass rusher in this draft class if it wasn't for injuries. So, And I like Latu a lot. I feel like people sleep on him a lot and for round two i have the bears selecting well i'm surprised he's still on the board i thought he would have been taken i i'm gonna have the bears get troy franklin wide receiver out of oregon to fill in for that slot receiver perfectly for kate for caleb also i will have the bears trading down to pick number 89 for the tampa bay buccaneers let's see if it gets accepted no it has not got accepted all right, so let me do a little bit of. Uh, like I said, I'm a good I'm a good negotiator, so. So, yeah, this might be a reach, but I have us getting Cedric Van Fleet. We do, we do, we we cannot go into next year without without us addressing the center position with a rookie center. So let's take the center. And with the fourth pick, I do think Ryan Poles is going to trade back a lot in in day three because he does that a lot. So let's see what the Saints are offering. Oh, the trade will not be accepted, but hey, we can we can take out. Like I said, I'm 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 a flexible negotiator, but um, yeah. Um, pick number twenty five. I have us taking Trevor because of the simple fact that. It's, it should push Nate Davis to do better. And that Nate Davis has been looking like a waste so far. So I want to push Nate Davis to levels beyond, you know, greatness. Because Nate, we can't have Nate Davis struggling and we have no depth. Which is why I have to say this. We need depth on our offensive linemen to push the current starters to do better. Because there's a lot of questions about... uh. The offensive, the the blind side of Braxton Jones, and there's a lot of questions on the guard side, which Tevin Jenkins also has not had a good history of staying healthy. So it's good to have depth pieces, which they may be your long term future if they end up doing better than the current starters. So I have us getting Trevor or guard out of Michigan, and with the. Uh, 150 pick, like I said, we need to build the depth for the offensive linemen. And we don't have anybody on on that blind side, uh, that left guard position. Uh, Braxton Jones, he is a solid starter, but I don't think he's a franchise uh, left tackle. I think he it could be a Sol, uh, a, a solid backup, but I feel like we need to address deaf positions. So I'm going to take Christian Jones, or if unless there's anybody. No, okay. 
Tega, Chris, Christian Jones, offensive tackle out of Texans, out of them, not Texans, te- Texas. So um, I do have us, I will have us trade back once again. Def is important, folks. Remember that. All right, so let's see what the Browns could be offering because the Steelers are not going to – the Steelers don't have a good offer. So I do want to give Caleb another weapon. Yeah, let's give him – actually, you know what? Yeah, let's give him – let's see here. Like I said, maybe give him Javon Foster – like I said, we do need death because what what if Darnell Wright gets uh injured? Also, also gonna get Dom and Hampton safety out of Washington to be Kevin Byers potential replacement. All right, we're in the seventh round, so I guess we could take Tanner Midlin, tight end out of Arizona. Yeah, for Def for uh, the tight end position. And last but certainly not least, I ha- I will have the Bears getting Ryan Waltz. I do think we are pretty good in cornerback. Like I said, we just need Def position at that. So let's analyze the draft. All right, so the mock draft uh, assistant thinks we did a good job. Uh, Caleb Williams, we got an A+. Latu, we got an A+. Troy, we got an A+. Uh, Cedric Van Fleet, I don't even know why it's a C-, because the Bears need a center. I've been saying this all fucking offseason, even before the Justin Field trade. We need a center. We need a- Center is the most important position that we need right now on the Bears, and we can't go in – with Shelton Coleman as our starting center. Like I'm not I'm I'm not content with just signing a veteran and I don't want Connor Williams. Like I don't think he's ever playing then. I had us trading back, giving Trevor Ke- Ke- Keegan. I don't even like I said that that should be a best of B plus. Christian Jones, I mean I understand because he's not being viewed high. I would I would understand that. Then Javon Foster, C plus, like I said, death pieces. Uh, Hampton, I got a B minus, and then I traded back. Then I got Tanner, which was C plus, and Ryan Watts, which was C plus. And o- my overall draft grade is an A plus. So that this is my final mock draft. This is what I think the Bears should do. But let me know what you guys think that the Bears should do. Let me know uh, your uh, draft mocks, uh, your NFL mock drafts, because. Like I said, this is going to be important what you do. And I just want to see comments of what the Bears are going to do with every single pick that they have. So, anyways, that's it. That's all for today's video. Like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and bear down.